Hello and welcome to what yet another one of my exciting, dynamic and ultimately hair-pullingly frustrating and just generally unbearable Let's Plays. Hello again guys, it's been a very long time, I do apologise for anyone who's been missing out, I don't think anyone has though. <laughs> um, so yes, as you can see before you, this is not in fact a Sherlock Holmes game, I've decided to go for a different adventure game because as you know I'm so good at adventure games these days. <laughs> this is The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. This is the first episode of three. I believe the next one is out probably later this year. I think the last one's out at the beginning of next year. So, um, yeah, so w we might have a cliffhanger. But, you know, I, I thought we might as well give this a try because uh, I've, I've now got a new computer so I can run fraps properly on it and hopefully we'll be able to do the other two Sherlock ones. And apparently there may be another Sherlock game coming out. But anyway, enough of me blabbering. You're going to hear enough of that later. The Raven. Legacy of a Master Thief. New game. Chapter 1. Not available. How dare they not be available? I paid my money. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, start game. Okay, you have to select the chapter. Fair enough. When you're stuck, you can get hints in the notebooks. I'm glad it already knows that much about me. It's going to go, look, I know who's playing this. You're going to have to know some hints at some point. Okay, it's loading. Mmm, mysterious. Um, glowing lights. Apparently, one of the reasons I got this is apparently this game is a tribute to kind of Agatha Christie stories, and I've been watching a lot of Agatha Quis Christie's. That's <laughs> that would be if the teacher from uh, Final Fantasy VIII started writing mystery novels, Agatha Christie. Yes, um, I've been reading a lot of her pla not reading, sorry. I've been watching a lot of Agatha Christie's Poirot episodes, mainly on YouTube. If you have the chance, look them up. Nordic Games, the adventure company. Wells. I'm breathless of anticipation. <laughs> oh, okay, they are talking. It's things. <laughs> the Raven's ear. <laughs> Soon as well yeah. as I mean, I picked a couple of his feathers. Place. Hey, Harold, have you All read right. this? Look at me, Harold? I'm a stereotypical security guard. Harold? Listen to this not 60s music, but trying to sound like 60s music. Harold, have you been playing around again? Stop scaring me, hiding in the dark. Harold, you hear me? This is no time for fun and games. I'm Batman. So yeah, where is Batman hiding? Which is why I just violently assaulted you and for no Harold? reason. Harold? Well, there's another guard back there unconscious. That's probably him. Most the eye of the Sphinx. Where is it? Probably it, in the Sphinx's it, it, head. There. Oh, good. Then he hasn't got it yet. You mean... The Raven's hair? Shh, turn it off. The Raven's hair? He's gonna steal the Very eye. Very dangerous. But how do you It's know? a walking toupee. Doesn't pay. matter. All that matters is that we catch him. Do you understand? Yeah, what? but do Which you is understand? Why I'm looking at you, you and, and not mate, at the thing. We'll be heroes. All right, now. And if we just don't, we're going to get the gallows. Whoa. Oh, look! What a surprise! Halt! Stop! You're under arrest! Right, or I will point my, I will point my truncheon at you. Uh -huh. Okay, we're now in Switzerland? Well, we got a train. Oh, is this the beginning to Harry Potter? We're going to Hogwarts! Yay! Toot toot! Oh god, are they going to be Dementors on the train? Oh, I remember that. To be honest, it probably would make travelling on British Rail much more exciting. 3D graphics! Oh my god! They have all three dimensions. Hmm. And then a raven just flies by in front of the train. What? Actually, this probably is quite like Agatha Christie's Poirot. They have trains in that a lot. 
what? I think I was reading that on TV shows. Apparently, it's in almost every episode. She looks really quite nice. Oh, excuse me, sir. That train is being a bit gassy today. The Orient Express, is it? Oh, what a surprise. They did a parody of Agatha Christie, and one of the, or homage, or whatever, and one of the first things is it takes place on the Orient Express. I'm Stalin London! Oh, sorry, I was about to read in my offensive German accent then, but you cut me off. Hands up! Oh, I don't fuck have off. time to play. I'm on duty. You're going to get thrown through the fucking window. It's one of the lesser Weasley. We are going to Hogwarts! <laughs> oh, I hate this kid already. <laughs> You're funny, but you don't look like a real cop. You don't even have a revolver. Oh, for fuck's sake. He should go away. He should go away. Yes, Disturbing a Swiss officer while he reads a crime novel is a very serious offense. Yes, we can stay neutral you. at you. But I have a pistol, and you don't. You... Uh, yeah, redhead, American ginger kids, I'm gonna throw you off the fucking train. And in a why do you need a gun? It's the Raven. He was gunned down, so now I need a pistol. Dead it's America, Jack! We all have guns! No do live ones. You don't know who the Raven is, do you? He's the greatest burglar ever. He stole paintings from I, the loot. I'm so much of a fan of his eggs with gold and diamonds and stuff. And wow. Bobby Dobbs says he replaced the crown jewels with rhinestones. I do you know write for the, the Daily Mail by any chance? Although, I don't quite buy that bit about the crown jewels. I've heard he isn't that well endowed. What's your name, boy? My name is Matthew Miller. And where get are the you fuck from, off my train. From Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. At least but they didn't try. My mom and I live in England now. Oh She's taking God. care of some ritual. At least they didn't try to make him to pass him off to someone else, We're and they just had a, on a child ship. actor who couldn't do an accent. You've already seen half the world. I've spent my entire life in Switzerland. And now you're going Must to spend really the rest boring. of yours here. <laughs> seen half the world, now you're going to see a very minute part of the world up close. You do know these days there are thieves far more dangerous than your old raven. Two days ago, a precious ruby was stolen from the British Museum. There was an explosion. A guard was severely injured. Nah, it doesn't really? matter. He was an idiot yeah. anyway. And you know what the papers say? <clears throat> well, it depends. If it was the sun, you they just think did the thief had big norks. Zelda. Here. Anton Jakob Zelda. The oh, name is Santa Claus. No, monsieur. Get the move on. Gotta get a move in. Move on. Na, 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 na. Inspector Legrand. Legrand. It's a great honor to work wow, with a celebrity I have a friend like you. We appreciate the support of the Swiss police. Even though they but do nothing but take on the Nazi gold. Good. Remain seated and keep an eye on. Yes, make sure that that kid with his toy pistol does not cause an outrage. I would like to help. What's going on Monsieur, here? Monsieur, your journey on this train is most unusual. Why is, is it Is it related unusual? to the burglary at the British Museum? Not in the least. Okay. And be safe? What's that for? I'll let you know if we need your help, Constable. Okay, if you're just being me, deliberately I'll be in the first now. freight car at the back of the train for the rest of the trip. I wonder if that's going to be important to any puzzles I'm that might I'm not here to later. enjoy the beautiful scenery. I... I Your am a good observer, and I have finally honed powers of deduction. You may call me Poirot. Thanks to that, the little grey cells. I watched the people on the platform in Zurich. I know, for example, that that man over there is a violin. Sees him playing the violin. <laughs> that would be more impressive if there weren't a violin case next to him. You make and a good point, I sir. And I believe that the gentleman in the next carriage is a German doctor on his way to Italy to take up a new position. <laughs> and Does that mean if we're going to have a fight, it's going to be a Sherlock the Holmes thing? There's a rather on his solar plexus. And he's carrying a German-Italian dictionary. Maybe he's just taking a holiday in Italy, following in Goethe's footsteps. Goethe? Too much luggage. And no, he's not retiring to Italy either. The suitcases are too shabby for me to believe that he can afford to retire in his late 50s. And you don't think he could All just right be visiting then, a friend? Constable or a Zen. relative there. Constable Zen. No, it's got to be such that. a clever fellow. 
What am I doing? On or this that trip? he's a doctor who's going to become. It basically is going to visit an elderly patient, a special patient that he's been specifically sent. Yeah, you're making assumptions here. Anyway, he's on a. He's a. He's guarding something. I think something. you're guarding something. Well, you've got a safe. Oh, really? No shit. What might it be? Whatever is inside the safe. <laughs> oh dear. I really couldn't say, but it must be very important. The ultimate cop out. Because you are very important. Ah, oh, they wouldn't flatterer. have assigned the case just to you. Just kiss him, you if fool. Just a trifle. <laughs> Let's just no, see. It's a whole souffle. Really are transporting something very important on this train. And let's assume that it really is my job to see that it arrives. This basically see, means that I'm right. Then why isn't the train crawling with bullets? Because uh, we want to make the little grey cells of the thief think, mon ami. Don't arouse attention. It's a trap! Admiral Akbar has planned this. You don't want to arouse attention? Evident. But why not? It's a trap! It's... it's a trap. <laughs> You've got a that, vivid imagination. That is, that is the most limp-wristed thing of well, that I've ever that heard. That is impressive, I admit. It's but a trap. the fewer people involved, the better. We'll get along fine without you. Well, fuck you, you too. You won't. <laughs> that that was the worst I double take help. I've ever seen. And I will help. I promise. My country. I've got my Boy and Scouts badge. I've been ordered to you. And that's exactly what I'll do. Whether you like it or not. I'm gonna mm. fucking assist Clever. you and you're gonna fucking That's like stubborn. it. Your commitment speaks volumes, Zana. Oh, but this is my asshole. show and I don't need you. Bon voyage. So, but how do you know? Oh, for fuck's sake, is this still gonna go on? Oh, yeah, right, he's fucking off. <sighs> Finally. Oh, fuck off, kid. Oh, hello. You cheated. I did what? Ah. I saw you talking to the German doctor on the platform. Oh, God. He told you everything himself, and you were just pretending to put two and two together. I can see and the parody is. here, however, you know was there that a is? bit where Poirot That's punched a small kid in the face? Nicholas Legrand. You have to impress him if you want to work with him. I'm I mean, I could have, I just could have got You'd my penis really out. really tell on me? To the very policeman who shot your dear Raven? Whoa. <laughs> it was him? Mm-hmm. Hunted and killed Europe's most famous burglar. That's how he got his start. Yeah, I kid. Tell him a thing. I wouldn't either. He'd shoot you. All right, Matt. I would. I have to do my work now. Everyone calls me Matt. Well, yeah. except for my mom. She calls me. I'm Matt going to call you Arseface. Get the kid. fuck out, Arseface. You are a little kid. You're an annoying little shit. Whether the Grand wants my help or not, I'll keep my eyes open. Yes. Maybe it's I can change his mind. It's best not to stumble about a train whilst with his eyes closed. Yes, tell me more. Why not? Examine the sandwich paper. This morning I thought I wouldn't be hungry because of all the excitement. Thankfully I bought a sandwich with me anyway. Well, thank you for that astute observation, Hercule. Move the mouse over the sandwich paper again so you can change the sandwich. I will need this because this is an adventure game and it will come in very handy. Very good. To the bottom of the screen is where the inventory is. What? Oh, right. You can see all the items. Left click on the sandwich paper. Other objects on the apple core. Okay. I want to wrap up this apple core because reasons. Right click on the sandwich. I wrap the apple core in the sandwich <laughs> paper. That way I can carry it without making a mess of my trouser pocket. Or have you heard of something called a to bin? Carry them all day. Can you? Of course, you can also use the items inside the inventory of each other. Left click on the paper napkin. The napkin came with the croissant I bought at the train station. Thank you for your fucking life the story. Pleasure. I don't need that either. <laughs> well, thank you for all this. This has been... Oh God, my fingers are poking through. Let's get rid of it. Dump the litter from your inventory into the ashtray. Okay. Why would you put litter in the ashtray? That's not... There's, there should be a bin somewhere, man. What's wrong with you? 